What's up, Van Clan? Today is a day that is today that isn't tomorrow or yesterday. I'm actually in the bus right now because I'm obsessed with it already. Um, today we have a friend coming from out of town. I have to go pick him up from the airport soon um, to kind of help me get some stuff done with the bus. Since the last time you guys saw us, we actually have a bunch of things that have changed. Um, where we're going with the bus, where we're gonna be staying, and kind of just like future plans for the bus. Not, fe no, I guess our future plans for the bus didn't really change, but um, the build, like where we're gonna be building it. There's been a little bit of change of plans and I'll probably go over that once Zoe's back. Um, and I feel like that's gonna happen a lot with this, this um, adventure. This is one of those things that doesn't really necessarily go as planned all the time. I think there's a few things that I've actually done on the bus since you saw it last. So I ended up taking almost all the seats out except for these two, just in case. We need to have somebody ride with us before the bus is built. And we have this dumpster that you can see that we have literally filled to the top. Basically just like materials from the bus and or junk that we just don't wanna keep and that just isn't worth taking to somewhere to get rid of. We've already donated a bunch of stuff, clothes, furniture, all kinds of stuff. Oh, and I also started putting this rust coat on the outside of the bus. So now we have up to the windows. You can still see there's like yellow right here. And over here on the front is looking really good. And that is just um, to basically stop it from rusting. Just to have like a base primer coat before we put the actual paint on here. We still don't know what color we're gonna go with. We notice that there's some kind of a gas leak. We don't, actually, we don't know if it's a gas leak. It's just where the gas tank is. But when I crank it up, it says it's a full tank of gas, so I don't really know what it could be. So we gotta get that figured out. We also had a battery issue that I was able to figure out myself. Um, had to like unwire everything. It's not like a regular car battery. Like it's a series of batteries that are connected together. So there was like crazy wires and crazy connections that I had to basically take pictures of, take apart and put back together myself. And I figured it out. The bus cranks up great. It's working fine. You guys, we just realized that the puppies are starting to open their eyes. Well, one of them is. And I think it's honestly the first one that came out. I have to show you guys. Was it you? No. It's literally just one of them that's opening their eyes. So they're all about to have their eyes popped open and it's gonna be so cute. Oh look, it's him. See how it's starting to like open up? Oh, he's so cute. They're getting so big, you guys. Look at how big they are. They're so cute, cuddling. All they do is just snuggle each other and it is so cute. Fufu is outside taking a break. And Garrick is about to go pick up someone from the airport. We have so many clothes over there that we've been going through and just, the house is a mess because we've been oh yeah it's getting rid absolute... of everything and so now i'm trying to like hurry and clean up because we have something like coming a, over it's like a stuff mess yeah like we just have stuff everywhere because like we're going through it trying to get rid of stuff i kind of went talked to show them the dumpster that's like filled yeah. to the top just packing and moving and all that fun stuff anyways i gotta go love you love you me. guys are coming with me i'm out of here love you okay prize guest here we come somebody who's super cool and somebody who we hold close to our hearts. Even though we actually haven't really known this person for that long, but we've known his significant other for a little bit longer. But we're really thankful to have some help with the bus. Somebody who's willing to travel here and come help us. It's just like, what? So I made it to the airport just waiting for, to, the plane is actually on the runway. They don't have a gate open yet for them, which is exactly what happened to me when I went to Tampa. He said it should be like 15 to 20 minutes where he's out, so I'm just waiting here. Surprise guest. Noah. I better be on the thumbnail. Oh yeah, you can be in the thumbnail. Did man. you, uh, what's up man? How was it though? Yeah, it was Not good. Bad. I'm just exhausted. The flight was fantastic. Did I you? slept 
almost six minutes of the flight. Six minutes only? <laughs> you brought snacks for me. Garrett got me some snacks. She had a good flight. Yes. Wasn't bad. No. Now they know who's in the car. Yes. Now they know who's helping us with the bus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see y'all at home. All right, so we just got home. Noah already ran onto the bus, and he's like, this is so sick. Like, he's... He's like our number one advocate for this right now. A real big driving factor in the confidence and progress of getting this bus done. We're gonna run inside real quick and give Zoe some wipes. She said she couldn't find any. This bus is my dream. This Heck thing yeah. is so sick. Heck yeah, dude. Hi, babe. Hi, Noah. Uh, Wait, is that my scrunchie from last time? Yeah, of course no it's way. your scrunchie. I wear it every awesome. day. Aww. Every single day. I have not put a single hair they're so much better than the I'm just gonna catch up, hang out. So Noah just got here, and we're so excited, Wilder and Hazel. We're putting them down for a little rest because they have just been going, 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 playing all day. And then we're gonna kind of show Noah the specs on the bus because he's here really to, I don't know if they clarified this, but he's here to hang out with us and also help us work on the bus and just spend some quality time and just have fun. We're really trying to work as much as we can on the bus, which is getting so, so incredibly exciting. So they're gonna start working on it today. We're gonna look at all the specs. Do you wanna live on a bus? Yep. Yeah. The kids are so freaking excited too to just have Noah here, number one, because they love him, and number two, because they know that he's helping us with the bus, and so they're getting really excited also. So that's really what fun to see. It's getting real, you guys. Tell me about this bus. All right, this is the bus right here. So where are we, where are we gonna put the kitchen? Over here. Over here, outside? Yes. Are you gonna help us plumb it up? Mm -hmm. We gotta put the kitchen right here. Yep. Okay. And then we're gonna put it inside the bus. Oh, that's so cool. And what else do you wanna go in the bus? A bathroom. A bathroom? That's a great idea. Yes. Dude, that's such a good idea. So the slide is gonna go here, and the trampoline's gonna go on this side. Yeah. And this whole area is gonna be for your toys. All right? <laughs> Does that work for you? <laughs> I'm thinking maybe we could install some flashing lights, mm -hmm. but as long as you're gonna go to bed on time. Can we make a deal on that? All right. I think it would be cool to figure out how to incorporate a slide from their balcony to the main cool. part of the house. No, that like cool. folds up. <laughs> you love your bus, bum. So, for those who might be curious, um, the gas leak ended up not being as big of a deal as we thought. The gas tank is full and it's coming out of like where you put the gas in. So, it just needs like a new gasket. It's not like leaking out of like a hole. Which is good it's news. It's just literally so full. Like, I just opened the tank like to where you put the, the, the nozzle in mm -hmm. and it like gas just like flowed out. So, it's literally just so full that it's dripping. Yeah. Because it's at an angle, so. That's, so that's what we were working on today. I am so happy that it was just like a little fix. We're moving on to something new, you guys. Progress is so exciting. So now we're kind of taking a break, prepping some food, having some potatoes, some rice. You gonna help me cook? Yeah, there's all of our stuff right there that we're keeping so far, so it's a mess right there. We're having some asparagus, some shrimp, and some salmon. So this is gonna be yummy. 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 Hello, Mr. Hello. So we 
baby. Uh, Here, Sue, uh, you're gonna be eating all that food. You're almost ready. All right, so we had some dinner. And what else did we do? Ate the delicious dinner that Garrett cooked for us. Did that. We put the kids to bed. I put the kids to bed. Excuse me? Okay, you put the kids to bed. We still got one kid right here. Yeah, but he doesn't really care. He Can't passes really the test because he took a nap today. That's yep. true. Unlike your other. And he thought, go for it. No, 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 no. Anyways, we figured now would be the perfect time to clear up some things that people have been asking, especially when yeah. Noah's here, because so many people are confused about number one, why or where we're going from here, and number two, who's helping us out, because that has been a main question, because we're always like, yeah, we're going here, and this is. Noah, obviously you guys know. That's Ali's Noah. Boyfriend. But yeah, so Noah's here to help us out, spend some time with us and the kids, and help us work on the bus. And but get it gotten, popping and get it cracking and get it slacking. We've gotten no a lot slack. of questions asking like why we're still at the house because the last video we said that we had like a few days at the house and then now we're still here and people are like, wait, what? So basically I got sick. And so it made it really oh. difficult to like move things out of the house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and why are you laughing? I'm laughing because this kind of thing happens for you guys yeah. often right. enough that yeah. I get to laugh about it. I took my motorcycle it. course while she yeah, was Yeah, that's true. We just had like a lot of things that we really needed to do. We weren't ready to go when we thought we were. So the next goal is to get this family to South Carolina because that's my home base and that's where we're going to build this 40 foot monster of a house on wheels. We've expressed many times like why we're doing what we're doing, but I feel like... Well, I think people will have questions even when you have a fully built and you've been living in it for yeah. quite a while. People are still going to ask why this lifestyle? Yeah. But I think Zoe and Garrick have been going towards this lifestyle for a while and they're ready for such a good positive change. Getting out of this town, getting out of where you guys have been stationed for so long yeah. and seeing the rest of what's out there yeah. while taking everything with you so that the kids can have all of their stuff, so that you guys can have your comfort and your clothes and you're not going to be tight on space, you know, packed in the van. This is a really good way, I think, for this family to move on to their next step just to get out of the house and experience some new stuff. Yeah. And like minimalize our yeah. life. Because I'm so excited. I'm sure those of you that live in like a house can understand, you just accumulate things. And I think this was like our first house, like our first real house where we thought that we needed to fill like every empty space, which is just yeah, not sure. the case. Like you don't have to do that. And now that we're getting rid of stuff, we're realizing like, why do we even have all of this stuff? So many things. And you don't have to have a lot of things to like be happy. Yeah, true. And it's like, how many hours a day do we spend cleaning? Yeah. yeah. It's like... We're still going to have to clean in the bus. We're still going to have to clean, sure. but it's going to be... Unavoidable. Yeah. Especially be, with these kids. Yeah. yeah. It's just going to be It's going to be one of those things where it's going to be a quicker process. Yeah. It's going to be a quicker clean-up process. We'll have less things to make a mess. I feel like the biggest part of a mess is the things that we have. Yeah. yeah. Also, I feel like having minimal toys, they'll want to play. Outside. With, yeah. And go play in the... Like, Imaginations okay. take over, yeah, and it's not exactly. based on, oh, give me the iPad, give me this toy. Right, exactly. This bus is going to be customized to exactly what they need. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be childproof, it's going to be waterproof. A lot of RVs are not built the same way. This is going to be a steel box. They're designed for safety. They're far safer than an RV could ever be because they're designed to protect kids. So you guys are making structural integrity is just better. Yeah, steel versus oh, yeah. aluminum. Not that an accident's a, a worry, but even a natural disaster, you know, a tree falling on the bus, it's gonna be so much safer in that steel bus. Yeah. Designed with all of the latest safety features opposed to an RV. Remember now. We've always enjoyed camping. Yeah. And we're gonna be camping, but we're also gonna be able to like go into our home, our house, and when we're ready to go in home for the night. But like we're still in that environment to where we get to wake up and go outside in and a new be in place. nature. Yeah. And just be in a new place like every week or two. It's a lot of planning, it's a lot of excitement, but most of all it's gonna be a lot of doing. And yeah. starting this week, it's just knocking projects out. And I hope. <laughs> every time you say something. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's my voice. Maybe he's us. <laughs> I got my hammock. 
and I got my first aid kit for whenever I get fudged up. Hold on, this is actually pretty cool stuff. And then I didn't look at it. And then I got my um, machete kit for if the bad guys come for me. Let's pull that out soon. Let's pull that the right machete? Now. Are you kidding? That's awesome. Let's pull it out right now. It comes with like sheets and stuff. Right now. Dude, you could survive off of this and some fishing line and food for a year. What is that? It's a hatchet. That's sick. Well, I think that from what I've heard from these two, there's a lot of questions out there that you guys have. And those questions are super helpful for these two. Introducing them to a lot of problems they, they're gonna face in the future. Yeah. Um, and just a lot of things that they need to explain. So be sure that you guys keep asking these two questions because it's very helpful. And yeah, the more you guys might, ask. The, it, maybe we have the answer, maybe we don't. So maybe maybe that the question that you ask will spark the, ooh, maybe we need to. Figure that out, or well, maybe we need to know. Speaking of spark, you got your about to, steel right there. Let's see what you got. Spark it up, bro. We're gonna look at installing some locks on the bus this week. Yeah. Not that sure. anybody's in it now, but it, it'd be good to have locks on it. And a real door. And a real door. Yeah. I'm excited for that. But anyways, yeah, we just wanted to clarify some things and spread some love. Yeah. I love you guys. Today's Instagram shout out is Noah Bigo. Shout out to you, Noah Bigo. It's this guy right here. Follow him. Cause he's awesome guys. He's just, you're gonna see lots of crazy awesome things come from this kind of I'm excited right for the content for the next few days because you, you guys, are, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Tickle the notification bell, please, which means just smash it. Just smash it. Just punch your notification bell. So you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. I know. Okay, fine, exactly, click it, exactly. <laughs> So you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We'll see you next time. See you in the next one. Just home.